On January 1st, Guilford police got a call for a report of a resident armed with a knife. They encountered 17-year-old Misha Fay at the home, who one officer tased and the other shot and killed. This wasn't the first time police were at the Fay residence. A log obtained by News 9 Investigates shows the police had been called to the home five times since February 2022 for mental health concerns regarding Misha Fay. As the Attorney General's office investigates to see if the shooting by Sergeant Douglas Wall was justified, we wanted to see how officers in the state are taught to handle these types of situations. There is no uh, real uh, you know, bright line. There's no, when, when somebody does this, then you can do that. It, it is really about specific facts and circumstances that the officer knows at the time of the event. In the academy, full-time officers go through 24 hours of mental health training. They also go through roughly 60 hours of scenario-based trainings. It's important for us to be able to provide that uh, scenario training because that's really the best way that adults learn. Officer recruits are taught to try and de-escalate first. If use of force is needed, they're taught to assess the situation with the information they have and decide if that is reasonably necessary to make an arrest or to keep them or the public out of harm's way. And this training is just for officers at the academy. Once you're on the job, you're only required to do yearly training. However, that is changing over the next three years. Officers will need to do three times more hours a year. We're live in Portsmouth. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.